let's talk about Yalav Yavo. We add Yalav Yavo on Rosh Chodesh on Achol Moed, and Rashi explains why do we add it specifically during the bracha of Ritzay? Because Ritzay is all about returning to the Avodah, returning to the service in the base of Megdash. And what days are we most attuned to the lacking of the base of Megdash? On Rosh Chodesh and on Achol Moed, when we could bring another korban, we could bring the korban Musaf. Now, what happens if I forget to say Yalav Yavo? If we're still in the bracha of Ritzay, but I've just passed that section, I've already said Vesecha Zen Ainenu, then not a problem, just insert Yalav Yavo at exactly that point. What if I've already said Baruch HaTashem, but nothing else, nothing, not Hamakazashin HaSolotzion, then we actually will say Lam Deniku Kecha, which is part of a larger concept of what happens when we don't make a bracha properly. But we'll say Baruch HaTashem, Lam Deniku Kecha, Pasuk and Tehillim, and then insert Yalav Yavo, followed by the final bracha ending the bracha of Ritzay. Now, what if I've already concluded the bracha I've, and I've not yet started modim? Then, Mishnah Bura says you can insert Yalav Yavo at that point, before starting modim. However, says the Be'er Halacha, once you've started modim, even, even one word, then you cannot go back. The Prima Gaudim disagrees, but the Mishnah Bura paskins this way. Now, if I've already finished Mon Esrei, then ordinarily we would say you should go back. And if you're davening Mincha, then you should go back, you should repeat Shimon Esrei, because your Shimon Esrei was lacking without saying Yalav Yavo. However, Rav Salvechik had, and Rav Shechter has a fascinating insight that since you're about to say Bosov after davening Shacharis, if you miss Yalav Yavo during Shacharis, don't repeat Shimon Esrei, because you're going to say it again at Bosov. Now, the Shulchan Aruch disagrees, but that's what Rav Salvechik says. Now, if I'm not sure, if I don't remember if I said Yalav Yavo or I didn't say Yalav Yavo, then I would go back and I would repeat Shimon Esrei once again. Now, Marev is a little bit different, because for Marev, in Temple times, they wouldn't actually have declared it's Shimon Esrei at Rosh Chodesh yet. Rosh Chodesh was only going to be declared in the morning, when they knew for certain that the moon was present. And so, if we forget to say Yalav Yavu at Marev of Rosh Chodesh, we're not actually going to repeat the Shimon Esrei, we're not going to go back, because that's not as much of a necessity as explained by the Gemara Brachos on Lamed Amabez. Now, that's different in Cholom but we'll talk about Cholom Halachos another time. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.